if Christians were 100%. What? Now we need to watch this. This is crazy, man. What if you could speak your mind without fear of judgment? We brought together seven strangers, protected their identities, and created a space for them to be completely honest. What will be revealed when they take the mask off? There is something wrong with LGBT people. I wonder what they have to say about this, because they're Christians, right? So they're going to say something crazy about this, man. I'm going to say a strong no. Yes, I believe that um, homosexuality is a sin, but saying that like LGBT, LGBTQ plus their, um, <laughs> whatever, people, that's rude. there's something wrong with them as people, as human beings. I, that's a harsh statement. That is a harsh statement. <laughs> so it's, it's a hard topic. At the end of the day, we'll people, really man, topic, we'll make mistakes. I know that a lot of LGBTQ nothing wrong with that have been hurt by the church. They've been hurt by Christians. I personally have family members who identify as they, who are homosexual. While God hates sin, he loves the people. Indeed. He loves the homosexual. He loves, he loves the, the people. Yep, he loves everyone, he man. He for them. But Indeed. The problem that I do see all of us, man. with LGBTQ people is that the lifestyle, it does take away a lot of things. They're depressed, they're lonely all the time, and that's not the life that God called for you. When you receive Christ, Hypothetically, would you watch a streamer watching videos about Christians opinions while stroking your spirit of god can deliver you from homosexuality and i've seen it happen with people who identify as bisexual or homosexual and god delivers them and they no, no longer choose to identify that way one thing you know the lord says that if you have sin you man, I forgot I had this shit on. I got so shook. I looked to the right and I was like, why is that insect on my on my shoulder, blood? One law you were broken. Nice your beak, blood. And so every single human being is wrong. Like if you ask that question, are homosexuals wrong? Well, sure. But are they a different type of wrong? No, they're not a different type of wrong. They are they are the same wrong as 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 I am. Mm -hmm. I feel like I mean, we tend mm. to magnify the LGBTQ community. For example, exactly, everyone I sins. Come from a Hispanic household. I'm gonna be real. I don't. The only thing I don't understand is why n care so much about what other people are doing. Why the f do you care if a n is gay? Okay, he's gay, and what? Well, let him do what he needs to do. You know what I mean? It's Facts. Not, there, yeah. There's something wrong with both. And the question is then, why do we magnify the sin of homosexuality? Hmm. It's because no one goes around saying murdering is okay, That's that right. uh, theft is okay. But there are people going around saying, well, love is love and homosexuality is just love. And they're trying mm -hmm. to justify it. And so the and church- This is mad, man. He thinks, he, he thinks Jesus sort of, put him on his earth to preach or something. And that's why this sin gets more attention than the others. Yeah. And so they can escape their shame, not by marching down a street, shouting pride, embrace who you are, look within. Mm -hmm. They can escape their shame by casting on Christ and receiving his yes, forgiveness. Amen. Jesus, women man. who get abortions are murderers what do you guys think women who get abortion are they murderers or not what do you guys think let me know it is god who gives and takes away life man or woman has no place taking a life that they didn't breathe into there is no going around that one i think for christians yeah but imagine the girl gets look don't twitch don't ban me yet but that's what i'm saying imagine if a female gets raped and they have a child god didn't give them the child that means the devil did basically because then doing a sin committing a fucking sin doing that bullshit then that person has a fucking child and plus the child isn't even born yet it's not even this big it's not even there you know what i'm saying like you kill a baby that makes you a murderer Amen. This topic, sorry, it gets me emotional because I've just seen people go through that and, sorry, <laughs> um, and they feel it in their soul and in their spirit that it was wrong. Why is she crying? Because other people had an abortion. Wrong. Not that deep. And they deal with that. Exactly. If you can't afford it, what are you supposed to do? Shame and regret. And you're underage. Um, my husband himself. Him and his sisters, they are all a product of rape. And 
I mean, that's my husband. <laughs> so to imagine that, like, he wouldn't be here if his mother didn't decide to keep them and raise them. Um, you know, it's a... Oh, it's a I get what she's saying. Look, I get what she's saying. So imagine the girl that you're with now or your best friend, your boy. Imagine their mother decided I didn't want to keep them. You wouldn't... You would have someone else, but you, like, if you think about the connection that you have with that now, it would be gone. You wouldn't even, th you wouldn't even know about the connection because that person aborted like basically your best friend your girlfriend your boyfriend but like i don't give a fuck if you want to abort the baby abort the baby man think about you know what i'm saying not in a good, that's deep um, if you think about it bro maybe we're, maybe we're victim to something abusive maybe it wasn't planned but let me tell you something god he's never early never late let me he's tell you something let me tell you something you were given this gift of life and if you can't handle it or you can't take care of it, nah, she's options. dumb. She's dumb. I'm not keep just... pausing it yet, but she's dumb. Do you know why? She's saying that like God has a time and place for everything. That's true. Like He has a plan for everyone. But the the people who do like you know the R wording, right? I don't want to say that word no more. I don't feel comfortable saying that. But the people who be doing that shit, yeah, that's not God telling them to do that shit and give that person a baby. You know what I mean? Just no, I'm saying. What, what would you think of people who like stand outside of uh, like abortion places and, and try to stop people? <laughs> Let me guess. God <laughs> sent them, so right? Upset. Huh? Like, the people who just protest and try to shove um, and judge and condemn others. Oh, that is not love. My little brother. So I'm gonna go close my door. Hold on. Let me close my door. Otherwise, you might not gonna you gonna you might not gonna hear my little brother screaming, bro. You might see me hit that. That was called a lie. I said, jump the brother now. He came in screaming, man. I don't know if you might heard that. That is not God. That is not how he would handle people. Jesus is very gentle, and he would not make them feel like they cannot come to the Father because they are in shame or not worthy. Now, that's, that's true. I, I do want to address, I think there's a misunderstanding about what people do who stand out in front of abortion clinics. What they're doing is not abusing them. They're not attacking them. They're letting them know that there's options, telling them about crisis pregnancy centers, offering to adopt their children, explaining to them what an abortion really is. They're doing really important work. And if we all believe that abortion is murder, and we all just said that we do, well, then what it is is mass murder. It's genocide in the United States. Huh? It's worse than the Holocaust. What? what? Whoa, 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 whoa. They're attacking them. They're laying the milk. Whoa. Telling them about crisis pregnancy centers. <laughs> whoa. Offering to adopt their children. Explaining them what an abortion really is. They're doing really important work. And if we all believe that abortion is murder, and we all just said that we do, well, then what it is is mass murder. It's genocide in the United States. Thank you for the sub, Aiden. It's worse than the Holocaust. And so I wouldn't want to throw stones at someone who's out in front of the concentration camp saying, This is but i wish i knew what he looked i wish i knew who this was <laughs> i really wish i knew who this man was don't murder jews i would want to go alongside that person and applaud that person for being courageous and i think that's really important they should put me on there bro christians should support um to help try to fight abortion in this country i have had sex outside of marriage yeah all of them are gonna say agree they will have the f oh shit. That just means that they're virgins. That just means that they're virgins. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm in the right life now. Everyone oh. was doing it. Uh, we're on many cycles with that. Like, I've had an orgy with females. I've had, you know that one person you can just hit up anytime you want to and they're available. <laughs> you know, at some point you have to stop avoiding a sin because God hates not sinners, but the sin because it comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And I'm now married and my husband abstained till marriage and he has had to deal with the repercussions of my sin in the past. Yeah, I wasn't saved until I was 20. She was a little slut. She was a little slut. She was a little whore. That's what she was doing. She was a little whore. Me, and, and now she found God. Time, Her husband. So she was I, a little and she found a who accepted her as she is and now she's basically found christ again because she stopped being old. did have sex outside Fair of enough. marriage and even when i was first becoming christian i would hear people say oh you can't have sex outside of marriage and i said okay well i'll do everything else but i won't do that one thing because that's a really hard thing to, to give up do you know when you have sex with somebody 
um, it's really hard to move on from that. You start feeling all types of things with yourself and it's just remembering that God doesn't say this to be mean or to be a dictator, but to protect you. Yeah, if I can add to that. How long is the video slow? With you, um, I'm scared of sex. I had a very traumatic experience when oh, I was younger sorry, where sorry, I sorry. had family My members um, intend to take advantage of me. And because of that traumatic experience, I just have had that fear. Why they mask your voice? They don't want. They didn't want no one to know like who room. the person is. You know what I'm saying? Even though I have not lost my virginity, pornography has been something that has been rampant in my life, and that that's normal, man. That's normal, well man. Is truly in 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 my spiritual experience has been. I can't put this almost on. equal going wrong against God, going wrong against self. That brings so much shame, so much guilt. But when the forgiveness comes, we see the true glory of God because we see how broken we were and how, um, how reformed we are through Christ. Anyone right. who isn't Christian is going to hell. Nah, because you can be Muslim, you can be so many other religions and they will worship the same thing and think of the same Yeah, for me, this one's a pretty easy one. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If we're Christians, and we say we believe in the Bible, either we believe what Jesus said or we don't. Uh, uh, I don't believe this one, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a tough sentence to answer. And everybody was catching late in your Twitter honest, DMs. Leave me alone, Dante. Just flatly say yes or no, so it's, it's tough. <laughs> but with that being said, um, what does Christian really mean? Yeah, I agree with that. Well, I said no, because everybody uses the word Christian now, right? I, I believe there's Christians who aren't going to go to heaven. What about people who subscribe to like, you know, what do, you, say do you mind think, do you mind think like that? Cause you, yeah, cause technically you can be Christian, but you could just not be doing the things that Christians should do. But I mean, if you're a true Christian, that means you do the things that Christians do. So you should go to heaven, right? I don't know, hey, man. Judaism or Islam. And it goes back to the Bible. It says that to go to heaven, you have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that, Christ, that Jesus Christ is Lord. And there's a lot of people Amen. who don't identify as Christians who believe that. What if there's a Satanist on his deathbed? At that moment, they confess with their mouth and they believe in their heart. Like, they didn't live their whole lives being Christian. Are they going to go to hell? I don't believe that. Yo, so I think I'll be thinking about that every day. Imagine you do wrong your whole life, but just before you're about to die, you give, you give your heart to Christ and shit, yeah? Do you, do you go to heaven? Because it's never too late to forgive. He's always going to forgive you, right? That's something I don't understand. If you're not Christian, you're going to go to hell. It's kind of an absolute that drives more people away from Christianity. Than get out of jail card. It. Yeah, type sh It's like a get out of jail I'm card, right? of babies that have died. And I don't think that... Yeah, but that's because babies are, um, what's it called? Even though... They're innocent. How to make a sound. <laughs> They're children. God gives us a choice whether we want to spend eternity with him or whether we don't. And that's a free will choice that he gives to all of us. We all have to accept that we all are sinners and yeah. the wages of sin is death. death. The wages of sin yeah. is separation from God. Mm -hmm. But I've heard people's stories who didn't even know the Bible and had near death experiences where they actually went and visited hell the way that it was described in the Bible. You might think I'm Jeffrey Dahmer went to dying. heaven. You might think Jeffrey Dahmer went to heaven. Also, I'm not scared of dying. I don't know why. Like, I'm also, I'm, like, I'm scared of, like, for everyone else around me and shit, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like if I die right now, then just, just whatever, man. No. But he, before he died, he, he, um, he got baptized and everything, and he was repenting. So you guys don't think God forgave him for what he did? To live is Christ and mm -hmm. to die <laughs> is gain. That's my father's uh, favorite. Exactly, verse. you turn to Christ we at the end. We are gaining eternal life. We are gaining a new faith. We are gaining a new body. We are gaining um, everything. Not that being here doesn't have his, its joys, but to be with him, obviously, is. The best. Yeah. That's true. That. My mom hates it. I always saying it's like, God, take me now. Not suicidal, but we're always saying, <laughs> but I get what you mean. I know what yeah, I get no, what you mean. My sister and I, yeah, we're always like, God, just come take us. Like, we don't want to be here anymore. I look forward to the day where I see the saints gathered, worshiping So Christ, they're all not afraid it. to die. It is, it is going to be That kind of so makes sense, though, because so they all think God is going to take him when he wants. So. Death is just the way to get there. Yeah. 
I fear losing my non-believer friends and family. What? If they say agree, I mean, if they say disagree, that's crazy. E. It would be the greatest pain to go to heaven and not see your siblings there. I mean, my dad isn't saved and half my family are Catholic. And I can't imagine a more miserable place than away from the perfect creator of all things. In John 6, Jesus says that of all those that the Father has given me, I will not lose one. And so God is faithful and just. If you're afraid to die, God. you humbled. What? If you're scared of dying, you're a p If you're afraid of dying, you're humbled. So, so if, you're, if, if you're afraid of dying, you're a humbled p <laughs> What? Are you okay? That he will save all of his people. I do pray for my loved ones who are unbelievers. I share the gospel with them. But ultimately, I know it doesn't depend on me. Salvation is in his hand. So it's not for me to, to fear or worry. In the Bible, it says that it's God's will for everyone to be saved. But at the same time, the truth is, is that not everyone will. When I was an unbeliever, I would always wonder, you know, why are Christians always wanting to shove their beliefs down my throat? We know what the Bible says, that people will go to hell. And if we don't tell people about it, that blood is almost on our hands. And I do fear that there will be people that I know and love who won't ever come to God, but I know that there is still hope for them. We'll have you put your masks back on. Imagine one of them just forgets. Yeah, to be honest, my everyone I'm boys with is uh, Muslim or Christian. So we basically just all believe in the same shit, all of us. So it's kind of like, it's hard to just, I don't really have friends that aren't religious. It's not on purpose. It's just, that's how it is. In the UK, I feel like in the UK, a lot of people are just religious, you know? Oh my God, look how many dislikes there are. Jubilee, what did Jubilee do wrong? Who said rape is a gift? Oh yeah, when she said um Oh that's crazy. There is more likes on a comment than there is on the video. Man. You say me and gang really feel like fabs right now, all of the gang get busy. Ain't got time for a bitch and got one bitch on my mind and her name Lizzie. Step in the thing gonna make that pop stop. Whipping that coconut fizzy. UKU and I listen to you, I go to my G and I say you're